figured it was time to update our motherboard buyer's guide explaining everything you need to consider as well as what sockets and chipsets are available. Now for those of you just starting out or looking to build your own PC or maybe upgrade for the first time, this is a simple way to understand things. If the CPU is the brain of the PC, then the motherboard is like the nervous system connecting all of the other components together, like your graphics card, memory and storage and enabling them to communicate with each other. And just like any component, you need to make sure that the motherboard you choose is compatible with your CPU and has all of the features to get the best out of the rest of your components. There are three main factors to consider when choosing a new motherboard. The socket, the chipset and the size. You'll see all three listed on any motherboard product page and we'll break down what each of them actually means for you. So let's start with the socket. This is where the CPU physically connects to the motherboard. CPUs come in different shapes and sizes and each one fits a specific socket. So it's absolutely essential that the socket on your motherboard matches your CPU. Once you've matched the sockets, the next thing to look at is the chipset. This determines what features your motherboard supports, like how many USB ports you get, how many M.2 slots, and whether you can overclock your CPU. Some CPUs prefer to only work with one chipset, whilst others give you a range of options. Just remember though, not all chipsets unlock the full feature set of your CPU, so it's definitely worth checking the specs carefully. Now let's take a look at the current options for both sockets and chipset for the market leaders AMD and Intel. For AMD, most current CPUs fall into either socket AM4 or socket AM5. AM4 supports older Ryzen CPUs up to Ryzen 5000 and entry-level APUs like the Athlon 3000G. AM5, introduced in 2022, is the newer platform for Ryzen 7000, 8000 and 9000 series CPUs. It brings support for DDR5 memory, PCIe 5 and USB 4 and AMD is committed to supporting it through to at least 2027. AM4 boards use chipsets like A320, B450, B550 and X570. AM5 boards use B650, B850, X670, X870 and their E variants with X870E offering the most robust features. Now for Intel things are a bit more segmented. Most 12th, 13th and 14th gen CPUs use socket LGA1700 with chipsets like B660, B760, Z690 and Z790. However, the latest Arrow Lake CPUs, which are part of the Core Ultra 200 series, use the new LGA1851 socket. These CPUs bring AI acceleration, improved efficiency and support for DDR5 and PCIe 5. Compatible chipsets for LGA1851 include Z890, B860 and H810, with Z890 offering the most features for overclocking and connectivity. And the final thing to think about is size, or as it's sometimes referred to, form factor. This is really important because your motherboard needs to physically fit inside your case. Bigger boards like E80X support more features and expansion slots, while smaller ones like Mini ITX are great for compact builds. The main sizes are Mini ITX, Micro ATX, Standard ATX, Extended ATX, or E ATX. Now, the good news is that case manufacturers use the same naming system, so it's really easy to match things up. And one last tip for you not all CPUs include integrated graphics and need a dedicated graphics card for video output. Many AMD Ryzen chips don't. In fact, it was a 7000 series Ryzen CPUs that started to have built-in graphics as standard. And Intel F series CPUs skip them too. So if you're not planning to use a dedicated graphics card, do make sure that your CPU has integrated graphics and your motherboard has video outputs that match the display you plan on using, as some boards may not have the connector you need and instead you'd need to use an adapter. So once you've nailed down the socket, the chipset and the size, you'll find loads of motherboard models to choose from, each with its own features, design and price point. So whether you're building a minimalist workstation or a high performance gaming rig, there's a board out there that will fit your needs. And to help further, we'll be bringing you a range guide for both AMD and Intel to narrow down the choices you have for the latest and greatest CPUs. You can also use our very useful comparison tool at scan.co.uk to compare specs. And we also have a very helpful sales team for any further queries that you might have. 
so do feel free to get in touch.